Are you ready for this one? Back to another home tour right here in the southwest of Las Vegas in Rhodes Ranch, Gargata community, this 4,000 square foot monster on a corner lot. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Brian Nicely. You're a local Las Vegas real estate broker and this channel is everything Vegas. You guys, real estate like this and lifestyle choices here, please reach out. We love hearing from you, helping people all across the world find their dream home here in Las Vegas. Information's below, please reach out. Also, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, helps us keep bringing content like this to you guys. You guys wanna see this one? Let's go. This massive two-story home built in 2006 has 4,117 square feet of living space. Priced at just $980,000, the property features five spacious bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a three-car tandem garage. Enjoy rare and unparalleled views of the golf course, the iconic Las Vegas Strip, and the Serene Mountains. Nestled at the base of Spring Mountain in the southwest region of Las Vegas, Rose Ranch is a sprawling 1,330-acre master plan golf community developed in 1997. This guard-gated community is strategically laid out around the Rhodes Ranch 18-hole public golf course, providing residents with picturesque views. A prime location just minutes away from the I-215 freeway ensures that the Las Vegas airport is a short 15-minute drive. The community is home to the impressive 35,000-square-foot recreation center, which is a hub of activity and relaxation. Spread across a 10-acre area, the Rhodes Ranch Recreation Center and Water Park offers a variety of amenities that cater to all age groups. The 13,000 square foot lagoon pool is a resident favorite and families especially enjoy the 10,000 square foot water park, perfect for cooling off during those hot Las Vegas summer days. All right, before we get inside, you guys, I want you to notice that we are at the end of a corner lot here. So look down the street there. You can see we got mountain views heading up in and then we are at the end of the street on the corner. So we got a nice big pie shaped lot on the golf course. So tons and tons of views from the back. Let's go inside. As you walk up, you see the brick paver driveway. We've got an oversized tandem three-car garage here. We've got an uh, iron gate that leads off to the back and the pool area over on that side. And then let's head this way and go in toward the front. Got these cool archways here on the front patio. So we've got a nice little patio area here. You can put some furniture out there in the front if you like. Again, another iron gate that leads to the backyard on this side as well. Tons and tons of space as you get to the back because it opens up. So let's go inside. Now, do have to say that this property is probably going to be for a very special buyer that might want to put a little bit of money into this needs a little bit of upgrades but really cool special property because we are on the golf course with a pool under one million dollars over four thousand square feet and tons and tons of space so as soon as we walk in i'm sure the first thing that we notice is a spiral staircase here we've got a seating area off to the side in the front here there are plantation shutters on all the windows throughout the house. And then let's head this way. Not sure if they got a dog still left behind, but now we walk in here, we've got uh, a little bit of coffered ceilings here in the formal dining living or formal dining area here as we walk in. And then let's walk this way. Half bath downstairs. We've got a, a coat closet here. And then we walk into the main kind of living area, kitchen space. Unfortunately, these blinds are not operating right now, so you can't open this, but there's a slider here that leads to the back backyard and the pool and beautiful views of the golf course. You got fireplace here, built-ins here. Again, I could see maybe even wiping all this out and starting over. Um, lots of cool things that you could do at this place. Um, then we, as we walk into the kitchen, big, big, huge granite kitchen island here. We've got the double ovens. Uh, they put in looks like some ikea lighting in here um, looks like a star a star wars spaceship as it opens up kind of cool um, again a little bit outdated on the on the cabinets and appliances so if you wanted to come in here and completely redo this place it's wide open for you so a little bit of a eating nook over here breakfast nook and then we've got another slider that leads off to the backyard of the pool which we will see after we go upstairs but let's head this way. It's a big, big property. A little bit of a butler pantry over here. Uh, some more storage in here for uh, this pantry this side. And then as we walk this way, we've got a bedroom downstairs. So if you don't want to navigate the stairs going up. And again, this is the uh, slider that leads out to the pool in the backyard, as we will see when we go back there. Uh, closet, bathroom, all that good stuff downstairs. 
And we've got the oversized three car garage right here. Come on in. Tons and tons of cabinet space in here as you walk in. Uh, looks like they had a Tesla here, so they got all the upgraded um, uh, electric in here. 240, 220, I'm not sure exactly sure what it was, but um, there's the garage. You guys ready to see more? We'll go upstairs. There's four more bedrooms upstairs and there's also a surprise in the primary bedroom. So come on up. So as we get up here, we can see we got all wood floors up here um, with this nice big loft. You got built-ins here. It looks like these um, are just uh, um, built-ins that you can completely remove. Uh, open the space up a little bit. And then we've got two bedrooms off to the very side at the end of, the, of, the, of this side of the house with Jack and Jill bathroom. So as we walk in, you can see the bathroom connects both of these bedrooms. And we head this way. So lots of nooks and crannies in this house. I mean, there's, it's, there's tons and tons of space. And as we head to this side of the house, we can see we've got another bedroom off to the side here and its own dedicated laundry room upstairs got lots of cabinet space lots of counter space fold your clothes again looks like we need a new washer and dryer in here also got some more linen space here for cabinets tons and tons of storage in this house uh, another bedroom here with its own uh, bathroom we've got a huge storage space under the stairs under here too which we'll get on b-roll for you and then we'll head to the primary bedroom Uh, primary bedrooms, nice and big, open, uh, again, comfort ceilings, and then we've got a huge patio deck off of the back here with beautiful views of the golf course. Come take a look. Get a nice big pan of that. Looks like they're having a golf tournament out there today, so always having fun on the golf course. As we had in here, We've got our primary bath. Um, looks like a big stand-up shower here. Some of these lights aren't working, so sorry about the darkness. Um, we've got a big, huge tub here overlooking the golf course and the pool. And again, I think that this could use some updating as well. What do you guys think? Let me know. This is one of the highlights, I would say, of the primary bedroom, this big, huge closet. Again, built-ins all throughout. And then we'll go to the surprise. There's one more level upstairs, come on up. So your own private retreat in the primary bedroom. It's like a crow's nest. You got beautiful views of the Las Vegas Strip in the valley. Get a load of that strip view right there. And then your own fireplace, so what would you do with this space? Would you have another living space, maybe a pool table? I don't know, let me know what you would do with it, but really cool space inside the primary bedroom here. All right, so now let's check out this pie-shaped golf course lot. Come on, head outside. <clears throat> so as we walk out, we've got a covered patio here, brick pavers, and then I want you to see the side of this side of the yard first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Opens up lots of concrete over here, so you can use this for storage space, kids' play area, whatnot. We've got a little bit of grass over here, so we got the artificial turf stays green year-round. Plenty of space here. You can see putting maybe a hammock over there. Then we've got a uh, pool. It looks like this is a fiberglass drop-in pool. So again, lots of updating that could be done to this property. You're gonna have to spend a lot of money to upgrade this property, but I definitely think this type of lot is well worth it. You've got a strip view, golf course view, mountain view, everything from this side. But come on around over here. You can see there's a, a lake over there for the golf course. 
And then there's some tee boxes and greens there. So you've got multiple holes that you're on right here, which is always a bonus. And it doesn't look like you're gonna get hit by any balls because it looks like the tee box is right there and they're going that way. So always nice to know that you're not gonna get blasted with a ball while you're in your pool. Little spot here again, this looks like a fiberglass drop in. Um, I can see redoing this whole backyard, but again, it costs a lot of money. And this side, got all the pool equipment over here, the AC units and everything off to this side. But again, a lot more concrete, a little bit of more space, a little bit more space over here as well with your entry to the front. And that's the back. So thanks for coming on the tour with us of this massive over 4,000 square foot home right here in Rhodes Ranch, guard gated on the golf course. Again, you guys, this channel is designed for everything that's Las Vegas, whether it's real estate, lifestyle, whatever it is here in Vegas, we've got your back. Please reach out, information's below. Love helping people find their dream home here in Vegas. And again, if you've made it this far, you probably found some value in this content, please make a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see and uh, we'll try to put those videos together for you. Please subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.